The model C706707 soft serve machine has been engineered and manufactured for dependable operation. This unit, when properly operated and cared for, will consistently produce a quality product. Like all mechanical products, however, it requires cleaning and maintenance. Read the operator's manual before operating or performing any maintenance on your equipment. The initial assembly and priming procedures are of extreme importance. In the event you should require technical assistance, please contact your local, authorized, Taylor distributor. The panel on the front of the machine features indicator lights and keys. To activate the panel features, place the power switch in the on position. The mix low light flashes to indicate that the mix tank has a low supply of mix and should be refilled as soon as possible. When the mix out light begins to flash, it's an indication that the mix tank has been almost completely exhausted and has an insufficient supply of mix to operate the freezer. At this time, the standby and auto modes are locked out and the freezer shuts down. To initiate the refrigeration system, add mix to the tank and press the auto key. The freezer will automatically begin operation. The mix ref light comes on indicating that the mix hopper refrigeration system is operating. The standby key activates the separate hopper refrigeration system and the cylinder temperature retention system. During long no-sale periods, these systems warm the product in the freezing cylinder to approximately 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent overbeating and breakdown of the product. To activate these systems, press the standby key. For the C707 units, place the end of the feed tube without the hole into the mix inlet hole. For the C706, you only need to press the standby key. When you press the standby key, the light comes on, indicating the cylinder temperature retention system has been activated. In the standby mode, the wash and auto functions are automatically canceled. The mix ref function is automatically locked in to maintain the mix in the hopper. To resume normal operations, press the auto key. When the unit cycles off, the product in the freezing cylinder will be at the proper serving viscosity. At this time for the C707, place the end of the feed tube with the hole into the mix inlet hole and install the air orifice. The standby or auto modes must be canceled to activate the wash mode. Press the standby or auto key, then press the wash key and the mix ref key. When the wash key is pressed, a light comes on indicating that the beater motor is in operation. When the pump key is pressed, the light comes on indicating that the air mix pump will operate as required. The beater motor reset button is located on the left side of the unit. The reset protects the beater motor from an overload condition. If an overload occurs, the reset mechanism will trip. To properly reset the freezer, Press the auto key to cancel the cycle and turn the power switch to the off position. The draw handle should be adjusted to provide a flow rate of 5 to 7 and 1 half ounces of product in 10 seconds. To increase the flow rate, turn the screw clockwise. To decrease the flow, turn the screw counterclockwise. When drawing product, always place the restrictive bar on the bottom. To disassemble the machine for closing procedures, you should have two cleaning pails, a sanitized stainless steel rerun can with a lid, the brushes provided with the freezer, sanitizing cleaner, and single service towels. Begin by draining the product from the machine. Press the auto key, canceling the compressor and beater motor operation. Press the mix ref key canceling the mix hopper refrigeration system operation. Remove the hopper cover and take it to the sink for cleaning. When the flow of product stops, press the wash and pump keys and close the draw valve. Remove the assembled air mix pump and take it to the sink for further disassembly and cleaning.
Next, pour two gallons of cool, clean water into the mix hopper. With the brushes provided, scrub the mix hopper, the mix inlet hole, and the mix level sensing probe. Then, with a pail beneath the door spout, raise the prime plug and press the wash key. When a steady stream of rinse water flows from the prime plug opening in the bottom of the freezer door, lower the draw handle and drain all the rinse water from the freezing cylinder. When the water stops flowing from the door spout, raise the draw handle and press the wash key to cancel the wash mode. Repeat this procedure until the rinse water being drawn from the freezing cylinder runs clear. Mix an approved 100 ppm cleaning solution with two gallons of warm water. Push down the prime plug and pour the two gallons of cleaning solution into the mix hopper. While the solution is flowing into the freezing cylinder, brush clean the mix hopper, the mix level sensing probes, and the mix inlet hole. Press the wash key. This will cause the cleaning solution in the freezing cylinder to be agitated. Place an empty pail beneath the door spout and raise the prime plug. When a steady stream of cleaning solution flows from the prime plug opening in the bottom of the freezer door, lower the draw handle and draw off all of the solution. Once the cleaning solution stops flowing from the door spout, raise the draw handle and press the wash key, canceling the wash mode. Make sure the power switch is off. Remove the hand screws. the freezer door, the beater, the beater shoes, the scraper blades, and the drive shaft from the freezing cylinder. Next, remove the drive shaft from the drive hub in the rear wall of the mix hopper and remove the front drip tray and the splash shield. At the sink, remove the seal from the drive shaft. From the freezer door, remove the gasket, the front bearing, the pivot pin, the adjustable draw handle, the draw valve, and the prime plug. Remove all O-rings using an O-ring removal tool. Apply upward pressure until the O-ring pops out of its groove. From the pump cylinder, remove the retaining pin, the mix inlet adapter, the valve cap, and the piston. Then remove all of the O-rings and the valve gasket. Next, remove the scraper blades from the scraper clips. Using a small amount of cleaning solution, clean the rear shell bearing at the back of the freezing cylinder with the black bristle brush. Clean the drive hub opening in the rear wall of the mix hopper. Remove the long drip pan from the side panel and the short drip pan from the rear panel and take them to the sink for cleaning. Prepare a sink with warm water and an approved cleaning solution. Thoroughly brush clean all the disassembled parts, making sure all lubricant and mix film is removed. Take particular care to clean the hole for the draw valve in the freezer door. Place all of the cleaned parts on a clean, dry surface to air dry overnight, and wipe clean all the exterior surfaces of the freezer. Before you begin to re-